back to those plans to reform the House of Lords, 70 Conservative MPs have signed a letter opposing the plans, and the Liberal Democrat leader Nick Clegg was jeered by Tory backbenchers as he introduced the bill today. We're joined now by the Liberal Democrat Minister Jeremy Brown and also from Westminster by the Conservative MP Eleanor Lang, one of the leading backbench opponents of the bill. Um, Minister, how safe is the coalition tonight? I think the coalition is in pretty safe condition. I don't think we should exaggerate what is happening over the next couple of days, but it is, it is with consequences. And let me explain the position. I'm the strong supporter of the coalition. I think it's doing some tough but necessary things in the national interest. But at its heart is the agreement, the coalition agreement. That's what it rests on. I've got and it that, here. that is a reciprocal agreement between two political parties. And if you like, it's a contract. And there are undertakings that both parties make to each other. I can see them. In, what, the, event, what, in the event that you don't get this bill through tomorrow night on the House of Lords, I then move to the next paragraph above it, which talks about a creation of fewer and more equal-sized constituencies. Now, there has been a kind of dark threat that you would not support that if well, this happened. Well, I, I, I wouldn't see it in those terms. What, I, what I'd put to you is that this is a package of measures what is formed the coalition agreement. Some of it is drawn from the Conservatives, mm. most of it, some from the Liberal Democrats, some may be from both. And you have to implement the package as a whole. You can't pick a mix, you can't approach an a la carte way. Because if you only vote for the bits that you personally support, the coalition won't function. Well, so the Liberal uh, Democrats have been very honourable, uh, very disciplined in terms of supporting well, well, the government as that. a whole. Let's and pause, I think the Conservative that MPs need to be similarly honourable and disciplined let, well, let's tomorrow. Let's see how honourable uh, uh, Ellen Lang's feeling tonight. Um, I'm wondering how safe you feel about your Prime Minister tonight. I mean, he's in a lot of trouble, isn't he? No, no, the Prime Minister isn't in trouble. He's doing the right thing. He is doing a balancing act to keep the coalition together. Uh, but, uh, and, and he has a lot of other things to think about, as well as Lord's reform. Well, one of the things the he has to think is about is your 70 I, signature letter. He well, must be thrilled with you. Just, well, like Jeremy, I'm a, I totally support the coalition. We want to keep the coalition together. It has a lot of work to do. But that doesn't mean that those of us with a conscience should... Uh, should vote for bad law and this is a bad bill and all, all this stuff about a la carte etc that's just making excuses uh, the fact is that this is a measure which has been brought forward it's now being properly scrutinized by Parliament and it, Parliament may pass it it may not that's up to Parliament if we're talking about democracy for goodness sake just how hypocritical is it to say oh, we want to increase democracy but members of Parliament should be told by the Prime Minister what to do and should have no choice in the matter right. that's just nonsense nonsense well, it, well that, I mean that's not an argument that is uh, ever deployed when the boot is on the other foot then the Liberal Democrats are we are always told, honour bound to support the government as a whole, support the Prime Minister and the coalition agreement. And we're just saying that what is good for one part of the coalition is good for the other. I'll give you an example. No, 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 before you Directly do. Directly elected you do, police before commissioners. You do. No, no, before you do. Yeah. I, I want, th there are too many people looking in who are primarily concerned about the utter chaos in the banking sector, total breakdown of trust. They're looking in tonight and they're saying, is this coalition going to survive or isn't it? Now, you say it is, but you're also saying that if they defeat this bill tomorrow night, if Eleanor Lang and co defeat this bill tomorrow night, there will be consequences. Well, we're, we're, what we're not consequences? Making, we're not, what consequences? We're not making threats. The, no, no, the, coalition, the coalition came together because no party won the general election. Mm. It is based on an agreement between two parties, the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats. It is a total package. Our priority is to deal with the economy, yeah. of course it is, but we're also concerned about health and education yeah. reform okay, look, and constitutional defeating, reform Does as well. defeating this bill represent breaking that agreement? Uh, well, does it yes or no? Yes, clearly you can't have, you can't, it, yes, have you can't have government MPs okay. who, uh, who are reneging on their contractual okay. obligations well, to the other party in the coalition. You can have MPs who stand up for what they believe in. We can't say that we want democracy on the one hand and on the other hand say I fundamentally well, Eleanor, disagree with this bill but I'm going to vote uh, for me, it. Come on, what are we here for? Let me, but let me but give I, the example that, that John did, which is directly elected police commissioners, wasn't in the Lib Dem manifesto, was in the Conservative manifesto. The Liberal Democrats supported that totally proposal irrelevant. because it was in... No, it's not, because it was in the coalition agreement. This we supported your proposal in good faith because we mm. behaved in an honourable way towards the coalition. Well, and look, I think MPs of both real. parties have a duty this to behave in that way. I asked, I asked Mr Brown a straight question. I'm going to ask you one too. In a yes. quick yes or no, are you prepared to break the coalition over this measure? 
it won't break the coalition. Uh, and it's very unlikely that the bill will be defeated tomorrow night. I think the bill will be passed at second reading tomorrow night. The issue is that many of us will say we want to have uh, enough time to scrutinise the bill properly and to bring democracy to bear upon this important piece of constitutional legislation. That's what's likely to happen. The programme motion Jerry, is likely Jerry to be Brown, defeated. Thank you very much, both of you very much. Cathy. Thanks, John.